Hi there, my name is Michelle Page, the Biomedical Science Program Lead here at Discovery Place, and this is my friend Casper. In honor of our traveling exhibition all about dogs, Casper is here to help me properly demonstrate canine CPR. While we hope you'll never have to use what you learn in this video, it can be reassuring to know that you could offer help in such a situation. First, check for alertness and response by giving them a gentle shake and calling their name. Casper, Casper, wake up. Place your hand on the chest and see if the dog is breathing. If not, place your fingers on the dog's left chest at the point where their left arm meets the body, almost in the armpit, to try to feel a pulse. Once you plan to begin CPR, it's a good idea to call for assistance from an emergency vet, not 911, so that help is on its way while you work. Next, lay the dog on a flat surface on their side and position yourself behind their back. Place both of your palms over the widest part of the rib cage. Keeping both elbows straight and shoulders directly above your hands, push down on the rib cage in firm, quick compressions, pressing into the chest between one-fourth to one-third of the chest width at a rate of 100 to 120 compressions per minute. This will get tiring fast, so if you have someone else with you, it's a good idea to switch off after four to five cycles. Administer two breaths every 30 compressions by holding the dog's mouth closed and by placing your mouth over the dog's nostrils and blowing gently. Remove your mouth from the muzzle between each breath, then return to chest compressions. Note that unlike human CPR, dog rescue breaths are delivered through the nose while the mouth is kept closed. Repeat this cycle of 30 compressions and two rescue breaths until help arrives or the dog wakes up. If you want to test your canine CPR skills and learn more about the science of our furry friends, come meet Casper in the Explore More Me Lab and see all his friends at our traveling exhibition, Dogs, A Science Tale, on exhibit at Discovery Place Science from now through May 5th.